Let's start with papa bears. Can all of the papa bears stand up? All the papa bears stand up. If you're a papa bear, stand up. Now, gentlemen, we saw Javier and Michael and my babies, right? Give us good examples of how to create a character using their body, their face, and their voice. How would you, gentlemen, show the audience that you are the papa bear? What are you going to do with your body? Oh, that's great, Javier. Good. Look at Javier scowling. Oh, that's a great face. Can you put your claws up, papa bears? And papa bears, what sound comes out of your mouth? Can you do it nice and loud? One, two, three. Good. Papa bears, bend your legs, right? And you're now creating a character. You're the actor creating a character. And this is what you say, Papa Bears. Repeat after me. I'll say it and you say it. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. OK, let's try it all together. One, two, three. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. OK, last time, all together. One, two, three. Good. Give them a round of applause. Good. Sit down, Papa Bears. Mama Bears, stand up. Good. Mama Bears, stand up. Good. And Miss Perez, um, I do this uh, in this format uh, just simply so that um, I'm not stopping to do a huge theater lesson. This is story time. It's reading time. You're incorporating acting into your reading lesson rather than stopping to stage it and have people enter and exit. Keep it simple, put it right into the middle of the reading lesson. Mama bears, how are you going to create the character of the mama bear? My papa bears were crabby. Rawr. Mama bears, let's say you're sassy, right? You're no nonsense. Can you put your hands on your hips, mama bears? Right? Show me with your face. You're not, you're not, uh, you're not going to put up with any nonsense, mama bears. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. Put your nose up a little bit, mama bears. Mm -hmm. Mama bears, can you go for me? Mm, mm, mm. Good, ladies. Let's try. Excuse me. Let's try again. One, two, three. Last time, nice and loud. One, two, three. Good, Mama Bears. Now here's your line. You say, "Somebody's been sleeping in my bed." Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's try that all together. One, two, three. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Try it again. One, two, three. Okay, last time, ladies, nice and loud so everybody can hear you. One, two, three. Good, Mama Bears. Audience, give a round of applause. Very nice. And Baby Bears, stand up. Now, Baby Bears, if the Papa Bears were standing up here and the Mama Bears were here, how are you going to create the character of the baby bear? What could you do with your body and your face? Do you have an idea, sir? Oh, good. All right, so let's go down. That's a good idea, baby bears. Now, put your faces up, babies, so we can see it, right? Good, babies, right? And babies, here's what you say, right? Put your little paws up, babies. And you say, be bop bear be -ba <laughs> Good, babies. OK, let's do it again. One, two, three. Now, babies, repeat after me. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And there's still Bebop or either. That's a lot to say, isn't it, babies? Let's try it one more time. You're doing really good. A one, two, three. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And there's still Bebop or either. Good, babies. Very nice. Audience, give a round of applause. Okay? And Goldilocks, stand up. Goldilocks, we've seen examples of characters from all of our actors. What could you do to show the audience who your, who your character is? Um, by skipping. Can you show us that? That's a great idea. Good. Goldilocks, can you knock on the door? Can you listen? Can you shrug your shoulders? Can you go in and lay down and go to sleep? Go in the house. And can you snore? Can everybody snore? 
Good, we'll add that sound effect. Let's not lay down, but we'll add that sound effect when Goldilocks is sleeping. Okay, so now all of you as actors have created a character. We know where our story is set, which is at the uh, house of the uh, three bears in the woods. So now we're going to put it together into a simple performance. So here's how it works. I'm going to read the story. And when I give you a hand motion, or when I call for the papas or the mamas to stand up, you're going to stand up, papa bears. The first time when I say, one was a papa bear, papas, you stand up and go, rawr, and sit down. Mun was a mama bear, you'll stand up, and sit down. And one was a wee baby bear. Baby bears, be bop a wee bear. And then you sit down, okay? So let's try it. Let's see how it goes, right? And so, Ms. Perez, I just worked to, to keep the instructions simple and loose. It's not, it's not complicated. I'm really just looking for my actors to convey character and emotion using body, face, and voice. And that, that's what I'm looking to achieve, right? And, and so I model it with all of them, give everybody what they have. I look for ideas from the actors first. If they get stuck or they, they, they're, they're not... Um, that isn't happening, I'll prompt them with something. But I normally try to get as much ideas from the actors as I can. Okay, you ready, actors? Here we go.